Hi guys! So, this is an impromptu cooking vlog. Um, I have recently started um, eating vegetarian, um, mostly with a little bit of fish here and there, and I'm experimenting with all sorts of new recipes. Um, it's very new to me, it's really exciting, um, Chris is doing it with me, and I've been posting kind of what I've been eating on my Instagram, and I've been finding recipes off of Pinterest, and um, I've been getting asked to, you know, tape it. So these aren't necessarily going to be teaching you how to do it, but more you going on the adventure with me with the vegetarian meals. So what I'm making today is like a vegetarian meatloaf. Um, so I'll show you what I've got going so far. Um, okay, so in this pan right now, I sauteed one red onion for about five minutes. And then I put in a can of kidney beans, a can of black beans, a small can of corn, and I put in um, like five ounces of mild salsa. And I'm just cooking it um, for about seven minutes. And then I'm gonna add, um, I'm gonna add cayenne, chili powder, cumin, oregano, and salt and pepper. I'm reading a recipe. This is, see, Mexican style vegetarian loaf. So I'm just following it right now. Um, yeah, so we're gonna see how this goes and uh, see how this turns out. I will uh, be back to show you when uh, I'm on my next step. Okay, so in here I have cheese, half a cup of cheese, and one and a quarter cups of, of breadcrumbs, and it wants me to stir, stir it all up. Oh my gosh. It makes so much. Like, Chris and I are gonna have so much food. Um, it says to combine in a large mixing bowl breadcrumbs and cheese and then form it in a loaf in a loaf pan. So I'm gonna stir this all up and then form it into a loaf. Okay, so here we go. Here's the loaf. I was smart and I put on some gloves to form it. It stays together really well with the um, with the breadcrumbs. Uh, this is a 9 by 11 baking dish. You can use a loaf pan, but it says to use a baking dish. And I find that will be easier to cut it after. Um, and I probably said to use it because it makes, it yields so much. So. Yeah, I have to bake this at 350 for half an hour. In the last five minutes, I'm supposed to put barbecue sauce on top. Uh, so I'm gonna do that, and then when it's done, I will um, let you guys know uh, how it is when we do a taste test. Okay, so that is been cooking for 25 minutes, and we're gonna put on some Hickory Smoke by President's Choice Barbecue Sauce. This is my favorite barbecue sauce. And I'm just gonna do that. And then, let's see, brush that on there. So I'm gonna cook it for another five minutes. And then it says to let it like stand for five minutes because it's got a set. So I'm gonna cook it, let it stand, and then we'll slice it up. It smells amazing and looks really good, but as I'm slicing it, even after I let it sit for almost 10 minutes, uh, it, it isn't staying together as well, so I really think that you need to leave it for longer than five minutes. So when I make it again, I'll probably let it sit tented with like tin foil or something and let it sit for like a good 15 minutes. Um, I'm gonna serve it like this anyway because Chris is starving and so am I. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, it just kind of like it 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 stays together, but it doesn't stay in solid like um, form. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna get it plated and then we're gonna do a taste test. 
Okay, so I actually thought it would probably be really good uh, with a little bit of sour cream. So this is like no fat sour cream and then some cucumbers. So, hi Chris. Hey. Um, so he's gonna try it and let us know. Try it without sour cream first. Just in case people okay. don't eat dairy. That's true, that's a good point. It's really good. Yeah, what do you taste? Is it like, it's too spicy? What about no. people that like spicy? No, no, it's not too spicy at all. Um, the beans are good. They, they give you that sort of like... Meat texture? Yeah, yeah, like in your mouth. Um, and the flavor is really good, yeah. The oh, flavor is delicious. Um, good. I'm going to try. I'm going to try it now. It's really good with the sour cream. That is amazingly delicious. Now, if you're not huge into spicy, this has a little bit of a kick to it. Not enough to kill you. Like, I'm talking like mild, mild. Um, what I did in the recipe, it calls for a can of green chili peppers. I omitted that and I used mild salsa instead because the spices that they have you put in it, the powdered spices, are really strong flavor and all of them have a lot of spice to them already. So I used the salsa instead of the chili peppers and I found that worked better for me. Um, and even even if you find this might be, you know, if you really don't like spice but you want to try it, having the sour cream with it, it, it cuts it down because it adds that like... Pulls it off. Milkiness. <clears throat> and I really like it with the hickory barbecue sauce as opposed to regular. Oh man. A barbecue sauce? The outside got like a nice crunchy. Oh, kind good. Of the ends, just mm -hmm. like a meatloaf? Yeah, just like a normal meatloaf. Yeah. So, um, wow. I think this That's recipe delicious. is fantastic. I definitely give it, you know, I give it an 8 out of 10. Um, and. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a keeper. So I will have the link to my Pinterest below if you want to follow me on Pinterest. I'll also have a direct link to this recipe if you want to give it a try. Um, it's easy, it's quick, it makes a meal for a whole family. Um, so definitely give it a shot and let me know what you guys think of this series and um, if there's any, if you're a vegetarian and know of any great you know, tips and tricks, please comment and leave them for me below or even email me. Uh, my email will be provided below. But I will see you guys in my next video. I love you. Bye.